Welcome to Arab Business brought to you by Levant TV. Kuwait's central bank says banks must comply with regulatory guidelines when trading derivatives, but are not otherwise restricted from doing so, effectively confirming that a ban had been lifted. The statement from the Governor's Office of the Central Bank of Kuwait came after a newspaper reported on Monday that a ban brought in following the global financial crisis on trading derivatives with foreign banks had ended. The story had a dramatic effect on the Kuwaiti dinar, which rose sharply against the dollar in the forwards market, as traders bet that increased liquidity in the market would lower the interest rate differential between the two currencies. The second edition of uh, Foodex Saudi was inaugurated by Prince Khalid bin Saud bin Khalid bin Turki Al Saud as the Jeddah Center for Forums and Events and attracted more than 400 brands from over 30 countries showcasing food products. Simon Blaisby, head of the exhibition, said the Saudi food sector is expected to grow by 55.3% over the next few years, reaching 262 billion Saudi rials per annum. According to uh, him, he, the kingdom's food and agricultural commodities account for 15% of its imports, with agricultural imports projected to grow by as much as 76% by uh, 2016. Egyptian finance minister Hani Kadri Dimyan says interest groups are systematically fighting the estate tax despite its efforts to achieve towards social justice. The minister pointed to studies showing the tax would have little to no effect on the low or medium income brackets as only about 10% of all housing units in Egypt would be subjected to the tax and that it would not exceed a thousandth of the annual value of a property, which is one of the lowest tax rates in the world. He says housing units worth less than 2 million uh, Egyptian liras are fully exempt from the tax and those worth 5 million Egyptian pounds would only pay 3,500 a year or 291 Egyptian pounds per month. And moving on to Lebanon, where the total net wealth of the Lebanese was estimated at 91.1 billion US dollars at the end of June of this year, an increase of only 0.4% compared to the same period last year, according to global investment bank, bank Credit Suisse. Credit Suisse said that the aggregate net wealth of Lebanese citizens was the 73rd highest among 174 countries globally and the 11th highest among 19 Arab countries. Lebanon's aggregate net wealth included 65.2 billion US dollars in financial wealth, 58 billion in non-financial wealth and 32.1 billion in personal debt at the end of June. And finally, Iran's oil minister Bijan Zangani says the country will double its oil exports within two months if sanctions against it end. Zangani said uh, he will talk with top oil exporter Saudi Arabia about market share when OPEC meets next week. At OPEC's June meeting, Zangani said Iran could increase oil exports by 500,000 barrels per day immediately after any lifting of sanctions and could pump 4 million barrels per day in less than three months after. And for more updates, please visit levant.tv. That was it for today. We will be with you again tomorrow with some more from the business world in the Middle East. Bye for now.